And here we are today, two writers and publishers talking. And I have with me Anne Hobbs from Forward Thinking Publishing. And we've got some juicy questions to ask each other. So straight away, I'm going to ask you, Anne, how did you move from writing a book to publishing? How did that happen for you? Um, I just fell into it, basically. Um, I've been a life coach uh, and a business coach for over 20 years. Um, I'd written one book, I think, at that point, um, and um, I was in like a bit of a, I'd fallen out of love with coaching a bit. I didn't really know what I was going to do. And then I just started getting emails from my colleagues um, from the coaching industry, and they were asking, oh, you've written a book. Um, how do you do it? Um, so I started advising people that and I really enjoyed it. I like the editing of the manuscript. I just really enjoyed it. And then um, my other coaching friend said to me, well, why don't you make it a business? Um, so, so at that point, I started thinking, right, well, okay, maybe I could charge. <laughs> I could start charging people. And that was about five years ago. So I find it a, kind of really interesting. It's fantastic how it often happens that way that, you know, our experiences lead us into another area of the type of work we've been doing. You know, we evolve, as you say. It's yeah. So did something similar um, happen to you when you when you started to book uh, to be a, um, a writing coach? Yes, it was a kind of, um, you know, I just had my book launched in London the mm. book there, and I was due to do the other book and um, it just wasn't happening it wasn't working for me and then it was almost like um, a revelation like a light bulb moment when I realized mm. I've done playwriting and poetry and scripts and all these different genres of writing and I thought I've got to teach this mm. I've got you know a wealth of experience yeah. I've got to share this and uh, so I started with a group and realized that this was my zone of genius, you know, and I loved it. Mm. I really absolutely loved it watching the, you know, the little seed of a book grow into a big yeah. tree of a book. You know, it was very exciting. Yeah. 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 So actually when you when you get a manuscript that just falls on your desk, what, what is it what is it that you look for, Anne? Um I look for um one of the first things I look for is do they know who the reader is? Mm. And this is one of the things that will help writers if they know it from the beginning, because mm. it helps that process so much quicker. But the majority of manuscripts that I see, they don't, they don't know who that reader is. And that's one of the first questions I ask, do you know who the reader is? And they don't know. Mm. Um, and it, for me, if it's not, not written, um, uh, for the reader, then it's it's not worth publishing it because mm. the reader needs to get something out of it, don't they? Mm. It's like it's um, and it's really hard when you're writing nonfiction and it's your story and you want to help other people. You could quite easily go down the route of it's all about you, um, and it and it's really hard. Mm. But you have to kind of remove yourself away. And it's all about that reader. What do they need to know? How are you going to help them? Um, what information really uh, do they need? So that's what I'm looking for. At the very first, um, and I can normally tell from the first sentence <laughs> whether they know who who it is or not. So yeah. I find that quite fascinating. <laughs> yeah. that's, it's very it's very true, and it's one of the things that I emphasise a lot that. You've got to know who your reader is. What's the reader going to get out of this? Why are you writing this? The reader's not going to benefit from this. Very important point there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Anne. So, yeah. So why do you feel it important for people to write, to create kind of these books? Well, one of my um, favourite expressions, my own, is that um, our two most powerful tools of communication are speaking and writing, writing and speaking. Yeah. And very often we start off with that colloquial language, telling our stories. Yeah. Then it becomes it becomes almost like an urge to write it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the other way around. Um, but writing is just such a wonderful way to express yourself. And we are very privileged yeah. that we learn to write 
at a very early age. Yes. So um, we have this gift. We've got to use it. It's a wonderful way to communicate mm. our experiences, our expertise, our stories, all the wonderful things we've experienced in our lives that other people could benefit from. Yes. As you said, what will the reader get? You know, so always having that in mind. And I think that's really, you know, expressing yourself through words. I always tell my clients anyway that your book could be 10 speeches or 15 speeches. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they are interchangeable if you've got the gift of speaking. Uh, well, even yeah, but do you, storytelling. Yeah, yeah, but do you feel that people underestimate what they know, the value or the information they have? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, the self-doubt, the who's going to read my work, why is my work important? Mm -hmm. It's all been said before, all that kind of thing. So it is about helping the writer, the author, bring out the yeah. best in him, as, as you know. Yeah, because yeah, I think um, it, it surprised me as a coach as well. It's like the simple stuff, like when people were really stressed, it's like, just sit and take a breath. Yeah. They just don't think about that or they don't know. <laughs> and it amazes me how much of it, the information we know as writers that people don't know and it can be that simple can't it absolutely yeah so yeah. what 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 is it that makes a good editor because it's not something that i could do i people say to me do you do the editing? And I go, no <laughs> <laughs> i give that to anne <laughs> so what makes a good why not what scares you about being an editor oh i don't want to tell people where to breathe <laughs> punctuation <laughs> and word order and Breathe yeah. where you like. <laughs> but what, what yeah. no, seriously though, because it is a, it is a dedicated profession and uh, it's not a skill that I have. So yeah. what, what is it that makes a good editor? What, when you want your book edited, who do you turn to? And what makes yes, it? I, um, I have got my own editor and she's really good. But I, I think for me, it's about compassion. It's about really knowing where that reader comes from. It's like, because I've been there, I've got the t-shirt, I've been writing about my experiences, I've been in self-development a long time. And it's just that compassion that someone has written about their life story. And it's like, um, and I have to remember that because I had one and I had to edit, she'd lost her daughter to meningitis many years ago. Um, and I had to chop some of it out because it just didn't fit. And so I thought about it for a few days, actually, where, rather than my comments, um, because I had to really come from it from a really compassionate way. Like, mm. I know you've gone through this, but it doesn't add anything to the book. We're going to take it out. So it, I think for me, it's being compassionate about what I'm saying and how we can make um, that book um, amazing yeah. um, and I just like all the writing is always very good it's just they've not thought about the reader they've not structured it properly mm -hmm. um, and that's what I'm looking for really I'm not looking to pick holes in the writing but I'm there to make it a really better book yeah. make an amazing book so they can sell it that's a fantastic point uh, you know, I thought you were going to go down the punctuation road or... No, that's not me. That's the proofreader. <laughs> I, I, I thought it would... But it, that's such a powerful statement to make. And I, I learned from that. Thank you. It is. It's yeah. true. It's very, very true. Recognising. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. So, so what do you, what do you uh, enjoy the most about working with clients? want to write oh i think it's it's um seeing their confidence grow mm. their self-belief the courage to write the book the way they really want to mm. uh the satisfaction at the end that they've done the book it's published and printed it's up there on my shelf you know yeah. it's a wonderful i'm really get involved in that journey with yeah. them you know to see to see the success of it and if I can be there for the book launch, I'll always be there, you know, because I think it's the whole journey and you do get very involved in it as the coach. Yeah. You know the story, you hear the story, you recognise the lessons and the stories. You've been yeah. telling them, what about the reader? What about the reader? <laughs> All the time, you want to know it. You really, yeah. you become deeply involved, I think. So um, there's a lot of rewards and satisfaction mm -hmm. 
as the coach when that final full stop goes down and the publisher says, yep, it's ready. <laughs> so what, what journey do you think um, clients take as a writer? So they come to you as maybe not as confident and they're lacking self-esteem. So do you, do you see the journey that they, they go through when they write? Yeah, very, very much so, Anne. And mm. you know, as, as we both know, writing is very cathartic. Yeah, it it changes us, and it's it's the hardest part to explain the all the emotional psychological benefits that we gain from mm. starting this roller coaster ride of a book writing journey. You know, yeah. it's, it's it's extraordinary. But as as authors, as published authors, we know yeah. that you know having your books up there is just like wonderful feeling. You know, it's it's a great it's a great achievement and accomplishment. And yeah, it's a legacy. That, yeah, I think it's harder than people realise, don't they, when they when they start out. Um, yeah, it's work. There's work that. involved. Yeah, there's work. You know, yeah. but all businesses, everything we take on, if you don't implement what you want to do, oh. it's not going to happen, is it? No. But no. Um, but tell me, Anne. I know that you've recently been um, moving into ghostwriting, which also is like a fascinating topic. I mean, even the name is extraordinary. So, what tempted you to go that way? Um, well, I like as a writer, like I want to write, so I want to write more, um, and I just put it on my website as a thing that I wanted to do. So, like something in. Um, in the future and I got approached a couple of months ago by um, a man I never met in Canada and I thought it was a bit of a scam at first <laughs> so he wanted me to write this mental health book for 13 year old um, uh, for teenagers and he normally has writers anyway but he wanted someone with um, experience um, of mental health issues and he approached me and it's it's quite scary because all my books include, I talk about my journey through life. And so all my books are, are kind of what I've learned and what I've learned from clients. And this time I've had to write from completely, like I can't back it up with, I saw this client and she went through this or I went through, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't back it up with any of that because I'm not meant to be the writer. But it was a fascinating process, something I really enjoyed. Um, but it really gave me so much confidence because I say to people that uh, you can write a book in four weeks and I have really had to put all my processes in place because you start off, you're like, oh my God, where do I start? And, and I giving imagine. me all this information. And then I thought, right, what would I tell somebody? Start with a reader, boom. And that's what I did. So it was a real um, process, but I realized that you have to keep pushing yourself as a writer, don't you? It's like, there's some days where I didn't want to get up early and write. Um, and I just thought, no, I've got a deadline. I've got to keep going and pushing through that. So when I write for myself, it's like, oh, I'll do that next week. <laughs> and I haven't got no deadlines, but with this deadline, but it was a fascinating process and something I want to do more of, I think, um, because I love it. Oh, that's fantastic how you, yeah. as you say, we do, we push ourselves, we want to evolve, we want to grow. Brilliant. I love yeah. that. Yeah, and, and it's really, think it's it's what you love, isn't it? It really yeah. gave me confidence. And then when he came back and he went, oh, I really love it, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I just wept with joy and I thought, oh, my God. And it, and it gave me the validation that mm -hmm. maybe I needed as a writer, really, that I actually know what I'm writing about. That's brilliant. Uh, it was fascinating. But yeah. one of the things I don't like, and I don't include in any of my publishing packages, is marketing. Because it's one of, I think, it's one of the hardest things to do. So I hear that's what you're doing now, is book marketing. <laughs> I know, it's extraordinary because, uh, you know, with my background in show business, I didn't really find those, I didn't see the connection yeah. between that and marketing. And maybe there's a different word for it. Maybe there's a, you know, I from my background of, of show business, I didn't recognize that that's, it's all about visibility. And I, I really call it a visibility campaign more than, more than marketing, because yeah. that's really what it's all about. So 
um, yeah, isn't it funny how we evolve in these things? It just fell into my lap. <laughs> Somebody came to me, uh, c contacted me, I didn't know, and a man as well, and said, um, you're really good at marketing. Would you help me market my books? And, uh, I, was, and I was thought, <laughs> <laughs> And then sure enough, a week later, somebody else approached me mm. saying, no, I have three clients who um, want help in marketing their book. And for me, it is just about the visibility campaign. But it's true what you say, there's very few people that do book marketing, PR people. Yeah, that... I, I don't do it because there's no guarantees. Um, I can guarantee that I will produce a really great book. Yeah. I can guarantee that your cover will look amazing, but you can't guarantee whether it's gonna sell, can you? And I think that's the thing today that you, know, is you don't get traditional publisher. Even if you get a traditional publisher, you do the marketing yourself. Yeah. Whatever it is, you do the marketing yourself. Mm. So you might as well get used to it. You might yeah. as well start doing it yourself. Mm. And almost from, well, week three, week four of working with me, I say, right, start talking about this now. You've got a yeah. working title. It might change, but yeah. start talking about it. So from very early on in that writing process, I get them to think about what are your platforms? What are your social media platforms? Yeah. Are you doing speaking gigs? Are you out there? Have you done any videos? Why aren't you doing them? Get going. <laughs> and is it important to start it earlier than, than be, um, uh, is it more important to start it earlier than, than wait until you've got a, um, oh, definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it depends on the person as well. Some people are very hesitant to do it. Yeah, have to go at their pace. But at the same time, you can push them and nudge them that mm. okay, now you've got that title, you've got that killer title. Yeah. Start talking about it. You know, mm. it's part of your. If it's a business book, particularly, this is part of your work. Yeah. These are your topics. Talk about them, and you will write about them with greater ease. Mm. And that's so true, as we know. Yeah. And you're and you will be talking to your future readers. Get yeah. those pre-orders in, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good way. Yeah, because some people wait, don't they, until they until they've got the art no, like, the book in their hands. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah. You've got to start earlier. Yeah. So um very exciting talking to you. I've learned a lot. Oh, and thank you. I think it's, I think it's great that you're you're evolving into ghostwriting, but you're still doing publishing. So yeah, yeah. I still love it. I love um, um, I love the editing part uh, more than anything. I've got um, like a great team behind me that does everything ah, I really yeah. want to do. Um, but I love the editing part of it. Um, I don't think I'd stop doing that. But the ghostwriting has really opened my eyes on on kind of what's out there. Really. I'm, and what you can do with writing. Yes, yeah. fantastic. Thank you so much for you. sharing your wisdom with me this morning uh, and um, look forward to working with you in the future. Yeah, and you, thank you for having me. Yeah, all the best. <laughs>